the throne of Solomon and the Queen of Sheba. The tale of the Queen of Sheba and King Solomon is a mesmerizing narrative that transcends cultural and religious boundaries, weaving a rich tapestry of wisdom, wealth, and grandeur. Central to this story is not just the encounter between two illustrious monarchs, but also the legendary throne of King Solomon and his favorite bird, the hoopoe, both of which play pivotal roles in highlighting the magnificence of his reign. Here I request you to kindly subscribe the channel, if not done earlier. The story of the Queen of Sheba and King Solomon appears in various religious and historical texts, including the Bible, the Quran, and Ethiopian tradition. It centers around the visit of the Queen of Sheba to King Solomon's court and the exchange of gifts and wisdom between the two monarchs. In the Bible, the story is primarily found in 1 Kings 10 1 13 and 2 Chronicles 9 1 12. According to these passages, the Queen of Sheba heard of Solomon's great wisdom and wealth and decided to visit him to test his knowledge with hard questions. She arrived in Jerusalem with a grand entourage, bringing spices, gold, and precious stones as gifts. Solomon answered all her questions to her satisfaction, and she was amazed by his wisdom, the splendor of his palace, and the organization of his court. Solomon's throne, a marvel of craftsmanship, was made of ivory and overlaid with gold, featuring six steps and twelve lions on either side. This throne symbolized his unparalleled wisdom and wealth. The lions, positioned on each step, not only represented his royal authority, but also served as a reminder of his judicial power and the strength of his reign. The throne was more than just a seat. It was a physical manifestation of Solomon's kingly power and divine favor, designed to inspire awe and respect in all who beheld it. During her visit, the Queen of Sheba posed numerous challenging questions to Solomon, all of which he answered with remarkable insight and clarity. This exchange of riddles and wisdom served to highlight Solomon's legendary intellect, which was said to surpass that of all other kings. The Queen of Sheba, deeply impressed, praised Solomon's God for placing him on the throne of Israel. In return for her gifts, Solomon lavished her with precious items, including all that she desired and more, ensuring that she returned to her land with greater wealth and wisdom than she had brought. In the Quran, the story is found in Surah An-Naml 2720-44. The Queen of Sheba, known as Bilqis, is informed about Solomon's power and decides to visit him after receiving a letter from him inviting her to submit to the one true God. Solomon's letter, delivered by his favorite bird, the hoopoe, who was known for its distinctive crown of feathers, played a crucial role in this encounter. The hoopoe had discovered Bilkis's kingdom and reported back to Solomon, praising its beauty but noting their worship of the sun. Solomon, in his wisdom, decided to invite Bilkis to embrace monotheism. Upon receiving Solomon's letter, Bilkis, curious and cautious, decided to visit Solomon herself. Before her arrival, Solomon, demonstrating his extraordinary power, ordered one of his jinn to bring her throne to him. When Bilkis arrived and saw her throne already there, she was taken aback by Solomon's power and the grandeur of his court. This miraculous act, along with Solomon's wisdom, convinced her of his divine support, leading her to accept his faith in one God. In Islamic tradition, the hoopoe's role is significant. The bird's intelligence and loyalty to Solomon highlight the king's connection with nature and his wisdom in utilizing his resources for governance. The hoopoe, able to traverse vast distances and relay critical information, symbolizes the importance of communication and knowledge in Solomon's reign. Solomon's ability to command such a creature underscores his dominion over all creation, a testament to his God-given wisdom and authority. The story is further elaborated in Ethiopian tradition, particularly in the Kebra Nagast, the glory of kings. According to this tradition, the Queen of Sheba, known as Makeda, travels to Jerusalem to learn from Solomon after hearing about his unparalleled wisdom. 
During her stay, Solomon and Makeda develop a deep bond, resulting in the birth of a son named Menelik. Menelik, who later becomes the first emperor of Ethiopia, is said to have brought the Ark of the Covenant to Ethiopia, a symbol of God's presence and a testament to the enduring connection between their two nations. This Ethiopian narrative adds a significant dimension to the story, emphasizing the cultural and religious ties between Israel and Ethiopia. The Ark of the Covenant, central to Jewish faith, finds a new home in Ethiopia, symbolizing the spread of divine blessing and wisdom across borders. Menelik's journey back to Ethiopia with the Ark signifies the merging of two great cultures and the continuation of Solomon's legacy in a distant land. Throughout these traditions, Solomon's throne and his favorite bird, the hupo, stand out as symbols of his exceptional reign. The throne, with its opulent design and symbolic elements, represents his unmatched authority and the divine favor bestowed upon him. The hupo, with its keen intelligence and loyalty, exemplifies the harmony between Solomon and the natural world, further highlighting his wisdom and leadership. This tale not only showcases the exchange of wisdom and wealth, but also emphasizes the cultural and religious impact of such interactions. It highlights the grandeur of Solomon's court, as epitomized by his magnificent throne and his connection to the hupo. The story of the Queen of Sheba and King Solomon is a rich narrative that crosses cultural and religious boundaries, illustrating timeless themes of wisdom, diplomacy, and the grandeur of ancient monarchies. In addition to these core elements, the story also reflects broader themes of curiosity, respect, and mutual enrichment. The Queen of Sheba's journey to Solomon's court symbolizes the quest for knowledge and understanding, transcending geographical and cultural divides. Her willingness to learn from Solomon and her subsequent admiration for his wisdom reflect a deep respect for intellectual and spiritual insight. Furthermore, Solomon's generous response to the Queen of Sheba's visit demonstrates the values of hospitality and reciprocity. By sharing his wisdom and wealth, Solomon not only reinforces his own reputation, but also fosters a sense of goodwill and cooperation between their two kingdoms. This exchange of gifts and knowledge highlights the importance of diplomacy and the benefits of cultural exchange in building strong, respectful relationships between nations. Towards conclusion, I will remind you to like, share, and comment on the video and subscribe the channel. Overall, the story of the Queen of Sheba and King Solomon is a timeless narrative that continues to captivate audiences with its themes of wisdom, grandeur, and cultural exchange. The legendary throne of Solomon and his favorite bird, the hupo, serve as powerful symbols of his extraordinary reign, underscoring the lasting impact of his wisdom and leadership. As the tale is told and retold across different cultures and religious traditions, it remains a testament to the enduring power of knowledge, respect, and the human desire to seek and share understanding. Thank you for watching.